If you're curious about Bargello embroidery, today I'm going to show you what kind of materials you need to stitch this fun technique. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, projagi and embroidery. So Bargello is a counted thread stitching technique. So this is not an embroidery style where you use stitches like back stitch or chain stitch or that kind of um, that kind of stitching where you have a piece of fabric and then you're embellishing the top of it with stitches. But this is counted thread, so you're using an even weave um, fabric or base that has holes in it, and then you're following a chart and you're putting stitches into the holes. So you're not even piercing the fabric, you're using the holes that are already there. Now traditionally, this would be stitched on needlepoint canvas. So canvases come in a few different counts and colors. And you can see that um, this one has really small holes close together. This canvas would be a more um, traditional option. It's the holes are a little bit bigger and this canvas would be mounted onto a frame and then you would stitch following a chart. And the stitching would traditionally be done with um, tapestry wool on canvas. And that is still a great option for Bargello is canvas and tapestry wool. That is um, a really popular traditional choice. If your wool is too thick for your canvas, if it's really narrow, you could look for threads that are a little bit smaller. So on this small one, I'm gonna try out um, size three pearl cotton. I think that might be a good size. I haven't tried it, so I'm gonna try that out and see how that works. But this traditional way of stitching Bargello, it can be expensive. Needlepoint canvas can be expensive and sometimes hard to find. Wool and thick pearl cotton are not um, the cheapest of embroidery threads. And so if you're looking for a more economical way to get into trying this, or if you want to try this with a child or something, then there are some other options that you can use. So one other really great option is, instead of needlepoint canvas, plastic canvas. So plastic canvas is usually easy to get a hold of, find in stores, and it's usually pretty inexpensive. And if you use plastic canvas, you can just use um, scraps of worsted weight knitting yarn. I have another video which has a fun way to source a lot of different colors of scrap yarn at reasonable cost. The other advantage of using plastic canvas is because it is rigid, it doesn't need a frame, and you can use it to make three-dimensional objects. So plastic canvas and yarn is another great option. Plastic canvas does also come in different counts, and so you can um, play around with what you have and what threads you have and try that out. But I also have a third option for stitching Bargello embroidery. And this is an option that you will see in my Bargello Christmas ornament pattern. And this is not a traditional option at all, but this is to use Ada cloth and just regular six strand embroidery floss. And so Ada cloth is not a traditional option for Bargello, but you can easily use this for Bargello. Because Ada cloth is even weave, it has holes in it, you can just use that to follow the chart just the same way as you would use canvas. If you are using embroidery floss and Ada cloth, you will want to make sure that you separate all your strands of thread so that when you lay your stitches, they will lay flat instead of uh, kind of rounded and then you will be able to cover more of your fabric. So check the link below for a full tutorial about using Ada cloth and embroidery floss but that is another good option. If you've done cross stitch before you'll probably have little pieces of Ada cloth left over and 
probably also embroidery floss. So it's really great if you can practice with materials that you already have on hand. So each of these choices is great for stitching bar jello. So if you're interested in trying it out, choose which one you wanna do and get started. For more embroidery tutorials and inspiration, be sure to follow Evita Studio.